So. Well, I like what you said when you said that it should be a choice and that f- to require people to stay home, require people to not go to mm-hmm. work, require and to to arrest people for trying to make a living. This all seems wrong. And I, th- I think yes. it, it's a wrong approach. It's a it's a you're you're it's an infantilization of the society that daddy's it's, gonna tell you what to do fundamentally a violation of the Constitution yes freedom of assembly and you know it's just the, I mean I don't think these things stand up in court really they're arresting people for protesting yeah yeah because they're protesting and violating social distancing and these mandates that tell people that they have to stay home yeah the, these these are these were definitely not stand up uh, you know if the Supreme Court here, I mean, it's obviously a complete violation of rights. Yeah. yeah. And again, this is not in any way um, disrespecting the people who have died from this disease. No. It's certainly a real thing to think of. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's, it just should be if, if, you're, if you're at risk, you should not be compelled to leave your house right. um, or leave a place of safety, but you should also not be uh, if, if you're not at risk or if you are at risk and you wish to take a risk with your life, you should have the right to do that. And it seems like at this point in time, particularly, our resources would be best served protecting the people that are at risk versus penalizing the people that are not at high risk for living their life the way they did, particularly having a career and and making a living and feeding your family, paying Uh, your bills, keeping your store open, keeping your restaurant open. Yes. I mean, there's there's a strong strong downside to this. Yeah. Um, So... Yeah, I just believe like you know, if this is a free country, you should be, you know, allowed allowed to do, you know, what you want as long as it does not endanger others. But that's the thing, right? People, this is the argument they will bring up: like you are endangering others. You should stay home for the people that that you, you even if you're fine, even if you know you're going to be okay. There's certain people that will not be okay because of your actions. They might get exposed to this thing that we don't have a vaccine for. We don't have uh, universally accepted treatment for, and then we need to. This is, there's two arguments, right? The one mm-hmm. argument is we need to keep going, protect the weak, protect the sick, but let's open up the economy. The other argument is stop placing money over human lives, and uh, let's shelter in place until we come up with some sort of a decision, and let's figure out some way to develop some sort of a universal income, universal basic income plan or something like that to feed people during the during this time when we make yeah, this transition. I think there's a yeah. Um yeah, as I said, my, you know, I, yeah, my my opinion is if 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 somebody wants to stay home, they should stay home. I say if somebody doesn't want to stay home, they should not be compelled to stay home. That's my opinion. Do you think and that if, and if if somebody doesn't like that, well, that's my opinion. Um so the now yeah um the, 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 this notion though that uh, you you know you can just sort of send checks out to everybody and and things will be fine is not true obviously uh, the there's some people have this absurd like uh view that the economy is like some magic horn of plenty like it, it just makes stuff stuff you know whatever it just there's a magic horn of plenty and the goods and services they just come from this magic horn of plenty and then if, um, like, if somebody has more stuff than somebody else, it's because they took more from this magic horn of plenty. Now, let me uh, just break it to you, the, the fools out there. If you don't make stuff, there's no stuff. Yeah. So if you don't make the food, if you don't process the food, you don't transport the food, and the, well, the, the, well, the you know, medical treatment, Getting getting your teeth fixed, but there's, there's no stuff. I would become detached from reality. You you can't just legislate money and and solve these things. If you don't make stuff, you, there is no stuff. Obviously, we'll run out of the stores, we'll run out of the you know. The, it's, it's the halt. The machine just grinds to a halt. But the the initial thought on this virus, the the real fear was that this was going to kill hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of people instantaneously in, in this country. It was going to do it very quickly if we didn't hunker down, if we didn't shelter in place, if we didn't quarantine ourselves or lock down. 
Do you think that the initial thought was a good idea based on the perception that this was going to be far more deadly than it turned out to be? Maybe, I, I think, br briefly. 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 Um, but uh, I think if, you know, any, any kind of, like, sensible examination of what happened in China would lead to the conclusion that that is obviously not going to occur. Uh, th this, this virus originated in, in Wuhan. There's like, I don't know, 100,000 people a day leaving Wuhan. Uh, so it, it, that, that it, it, uh, it went everywhere very fast, uh, through, throughout China, throughout the rest of the world. Um, and it, the fatality rate was, was low. Don't you think, though, it's difficult to appreciate? It's, it's, it's difficult to, to filter what the information that's coming out of China to, to accurately really get a, a real true representation of what happened. The, the, the propaganda machine is very strong. Sure. What, what well, they, well, the World Health Organization appears to have been complicit with a lot it, of their propaganda. It, the, the thing is that American companies have massive – uh, supply chains in China, like hun Tesla, for example. We have hundreds of suppliers, like tier one, two, three, four suppliers throughout throughout China. So we know if they are able to make stuff or not. We know if they if they have issues or not. Then they they're China is back back at full steam. Um, and and te many, pretty much every U.S. company has some significant number of suppliers in China. So you know you know if they're able to you know, uh, pr provide things or not, or if, if there's, you know, high mortality rate. I, Tesla has 7,000 people in China, so zero people died. Mm. Zero.